Hey boys and girls and good morning to you. Today is May 6th, 2020 and it is Wednesday. You have made it halfway through the week. Proud of you. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our class promise to start our morning off right. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Awesome job, everyone. All right, for the month of May, we have been celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So for our read lab, we have been reading, we are inspiring. Love this book so much. So today we are going to be reading about, I really hope I pronounce her name right, Yuri Kochiyama. And she lived from 1921 to 2014. All right, and she was a Japanese American activist. And we know an activist is someone who stands up for what they believe in. Let's go ahead and read about Yuri Kochiyama. Yuri Kochiyama was born on May 19th, 1921 in San Pedro, California to Japanese immigrant parents. She grew up like any other American girl and described her 20 year old self as a small town gal living comfortably and totally apolitical. Then on December 7th, 1941, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor and everything changed. So when she said she was apolitical, it means that she didn't really get into politics. She just kind of lived her life. Yuri and her family were forced out of their home and incarcerated in a concentration camp, also known as internment camps or re relocation camps, a plot of farmland and a makeshift barn house surrounded by barbed wire fences. She went to Camp Jerome in Arkansas, one of the 10 concentration camps spread across the U.S. Yuri was part of 120,000 Americans and immigrants of Japanese ancestries who were detained. After World War II, Yuri moved to Harlem, New York, and spent her time at the Harlem Freedom School. Freedom schools teach the importance of learning about one's ethnic history and how to help one's community. In 1963, Yuri became good friends with human rights activist Malcolm X. Together, they fought for the civil rights of Asian, Black, and all Americans who felt marginalized. And she said, build bridges, not walls. Very cool. So when World War II happened, a lot of Japanese Americans in our country had to be put into these concentration camps and it was just a horrible time. And so Yuri ended up standing up for them and becoming a strong Japanese American activist. Very cool. And speaking of inspiring, our word of the month is inspire. So how do famous Asian American and Pacific Islanders inspire you? So I would definitely say Yuri inspires me because even though she was put into this absolutely awful situation, I cannot even imagine going through what she went through. She persevered and she used that to further promote the rights of people in America who felt like they were different and that they didn't belong. And she stood up for what she believed in. So that definitely inspires me. Also, I'm just loving her yellow glasses. So funky looking. Also, how are you inspired? What inspires you to be the best version of yourself? And even through this difficult time, even though we're not at school, how are you inspiring others? What can you do today to inspire others? others. I know a lot of you have been inspiring me when you send me pictures of you learning, videos of you being creative. I absolutely love it and it inspires me to be the best teacher I can be. Our quote of the day is by Brian Thalwara and he said, a single seed can turn into a forest. A single heart can transform a nation. So I picked out this Asian American quote today because I really loved how it said a single heart can transform a nation. So you can plant one seed and from that an abundance of trees, so many trees can form. And you can build a forest off of that just one little seed. So if you feel something passionate in your heart, something that you really want to work for, whether it's standing up for someone's rights, being creative, helping those who may live differently than you. As long as you have that in your heart, you can make a change and you can make a really big change. So I just loved that quote and thought it went really well with our story today for sure. Our better, <coughs> excuse me, our better together challenge of the day is take a step towards one of your life goals, however small. So what is your life goal? What do you want to accomplish? Maybe it's you want to be a famous basketball player, or maybe you want to be a teacher, or maybe you want to be the president one day, or maybe you want to start your own charity. What is one of your life goals? 
And how can you take a step towards that? So if you want to be a famous basketball player one day, instead of sitting inside on video games, go outside and shoot some hoops. If you really want to be the president one day, look up how to become the president. If you really want to be an author one day, get to writing. So take a step towards your goal today. Our language of the month for Asian American and Pacific Islander month is Japanese. And we are going to be doing 10 push-ups counting to 10 in Japanese. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty. Everyone ready in your push-up position? Let's do it. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, rako, chichi, hachi, Awesome job, you guys. I feel super ready to take on the day. I hope you do as well. I will see you later today, and I hope you have a fabulous morning. Bye, everyone.